macOS Sonoma is by far one of the best updates we've had in years, but it's not perfect. With just a few apps, you can take already great Sonoma and make it better, turn it into Sonoma on steroids. So watch this video to find out about 10 incredibly useful apps that will supercharge your macOS experience. Let's start with the most obvious thing to customize, the wallpapers. macOS Sonoma already has these stunning video wallpapers that move, but to some people this may not be enough. That's why I want to recommend this great free app called iWallpaper. This app offers thousands of animated wallpaper which will bring your desktop to life. The variety of choices is insane, you can choose cartoon wallpapers, games related, nature, pets and so on. With iWallpaper you can truly make your MacBook your own, this app runs in the background and lives in your menu bar and if you need you can disable animations altogether when your MacBook is in battery or reaches a certain charge percentage. To me this is a great way to make a Mac more stylish and unique while not doing all that much. This app is totally free and I can't recommend it enough. When you pick a wallpaper you like just hit download and then set as wallpaper. Super easy. After we set our new wallpapers it's time to add widgets. In macOS Sonoma it's super easy to do. First swipe with both fingers on the trackpad from the right side to the left to open a widgets panel. Then click edit widgets, a pop-up window will appear at the bottom, then just choose the app, pick a widget and drag and drop it onto the desktop. Standard macOS widgets are okay, but we need something more interesting. I like the color widgets app. Color widgets offers you a ton of widgets to choose from in dozens of styles. Widgets range from simple clocks and calendars to photos, countdowns and so on. All widgets can be customized to perfectly fit your vision. You can change text, font, name, colors, etc. This app is great for bringing a personal touch and aesthetics to your Mac. And if color widgets are too colorful for you, try Widgeter. This app also offers a huge variety of different widgets, but almost all come with a transparent background. This makes them seamlessly integrate into your desktop, becoming a part of it. Another app I'm gonna recommend will be super useful for almost everyone. You know, sometimes there can be that one thing you have to do in a day, like send a postcard, but you keep forgetting it. Standard reminders can do the trick, but you'll have to open either the home screen or the widget panel to see your reminders. With one thing, you can add text to your menu bar. And we all know how often we all see that menu bar in a day, dozens if not hundreds of times, and having a reminder constantly visible there will not let you forget about your chore. You just open an app, click on the icon in the menu bar, and the text window pops up. Just type in any short thing you want there and you are done. If you want, you can customize the text in settings, change its size, color, make it bold, etc. With one thing, you can always have important information straight in front of you. It can be a phone number to call, or a chore, or a long-time goal you need to work for. I think this is a great way to keep important stuff where you can always see it. The next thing you see very often is the dock. Regardless of your dock settings, you see it a lot. And sometimes it can get really annoying. Sometimes its animations are just not fast enough. And IntelliDoc fixes that problem. This app allows you to precisely set the distance from an app window to the dock for the dock to minimize. The icon lives in a menu bar so you always have controls over the dock's behavior. This app basically makes dock more responsive and faster and it costs nothing. The app is totally free. So yeah, if you're tired of your dock being too slow, try IntelliDoc. Okay, what if you've switched to macOS from Windows? In this case, even Sonoma can feel otherworldly to you. Luckily, there are countless features from Windows that we can bring to macOS. For example, the Alt plus tab. On Windows, when you press Alt plus tab, you get to switch between open apps. Command plus tab on macOS does exactly the same thing, but it lacks one very important element, the app previews. On Windows, you can instantly see what apps are open and how the windows look. This makes navigating apps super easy. With all tab app, you can bring that to macOS. The app not only gives you longer app names and window previews, but also shortcuts. These shortcuts allow you to minimize windows, quit apps, close windows, and can be remapped in app settings. 
To me, this is a great way to make macOS Sonoma slightly more convenient, plus this view of App Switcher will make you more productive since you'll move faster between apps and make less mistakes. And it's absolutely free, so give it a try. Now let's take a quick pause and talk about this video sponsor, Private Internet Access VPN. Have you ever heard of a VPN? Of course you have. It's a fantastic tool that helps protect you from hackers and keeps your personal information safe. I've been using PIA or Private Internet Access and I can't recommend it enough. Private Internet Access is available for all platforms like Windows, Mac OS, Android, Linux, iOS, and more. You can use one subscription to protect an unlimited number of devices simultaneously. Private Internet Access is the world's most transparent VPN provider with over 30 million downloads. It works seamlessly with all major streaming services, allowing you to access more content than ever before, no matter where you are in the world. And for those who love P2P file sharing, this VPN has got you covered. Private Internet Access offers a risk-free experience and a 30-day money-back guarantee. Plus, 24-7 customer support. Oh, and here's the best part. By using my link, you can grab an amazing 83% discount on private internet access, which means it's just $2 a month. Plus, as a bonus, you'll get four extra months completely free. That's a steal for such a reliable and feature-packed VPN. And now let's get back to the video. macOS Sonoma did introduce a few small things to make macOS better, but the weather app is still far from perfect. Carrot is straight up a better weather app. First, it's very straightforward. No messing around, you get a ton of important information in one window, no scrolling required. To me, this hourly forecast is much more informative than the standard macOS weather app. We can see the temperature, the chance of rain, and the weather icon for each hour. You can then click on each hour to see more data like visibility, humidity, UV index, and so on. At the bottom, you'll see daily forecast, and if you click on any day, you'll get a detailed report. Also, Carrot has a radar map, just like the default app does. But Carrot's map is far more accurate and allows you to zoom much closer, but this is still not everything. This app also can be accessible from a menu bar. If you click on the icon, you'll get a small pop-up window with a short yet informative weather forecast, not just for today, but also for the next few days. The app costs $15, but I think it's worth it. Great weather app, super easy to use, very informative, definitely recommend. Okay, how about some more apps that fix macOS mistakes? How do you typically delete apps? You go to the Applications folder in Finder and drag the apps to the bin, but this way is imperfect since it can leave some residual files. Some apps can create files deep within a system and removing them by standard macOS means can be challenging. With App Cleaner, it gets super simple. In Instead of dragging apps to the bin, open App Cleaner and drop them there. The app will scan the system more thoroughly and find all those pesky little files that normally would just clutter your drive. The app lets you pick and choose which files will be deleted, so if you're planning on reinstalling the app later, you can keep certain important files instead of deleting them. So as you might have guessed, App Cleaner frees up valuable disk space, which is especially important if you are using a base MacBook with 256 gigs of SSD. Anyway, the app is free, so I urge you to try it. Now, macOS apps are usually pretty easy to update. You just go to the App Store and update them. But what if you need to update an app that you've downloaded not from the App Store? Then things get messy. You can either uninstall the old app and install the new one, hoping that your files and settings will be easy to get back, or you can use Latest. Latest app is an intuitive and straightforward way to update your apps. The app checks all your installed apps and looks for updates. You can later choose the app and read the update notes. To update the app, you just have to click the download button and boom, you're done. Latest is very good at finding app updates and unless you're using a very specialized app you downloaded from GitHub, Latest will most likely find and install a newer version. Latest also checks the apps you download from the App Store, so basically you can update all the apps in one click. This is a very convenient way to keep your software up to date or free. Next up, side notes. I'm not the most frequent user of Apple's notes, but when I do, I use them to the max. However, sometimes I need even more. So if you're like me, side notes is a must have app. Side notes takes Apple's quick notes and supercharges them. Basically, you get a side panel you can drag to your screen from which it's super easy to access your notes. The app looks almost identical to Apple's notes, so you'll get used to it in no time. You can color code your notes, organize them in folders, and so 
so much more. If needed, you can later export any note to iCloud or save as an image. What I like about side notes is how stealthy yet powerful the app is. It is always available but unnoticeable. With a quick pull, I get access to all my notes, which comes in handy when I'm preparing for videos, brainstorming ideas, and so on. So try it out if you, like me, feel that the default notes app isn't cutting it for you. Another macOS thing that we can make better is Clipboard. I don't know about you, but I am frustrated with the fact that macOS Clipboard doesn't have history. It holds precisely one item at a time, and that's it. And sometimes it can get really annoying to switch between apps back and forth, copy paste and stuff. Luckily, MacKey or McKee is here to help. With MacKey, you can copy a lot of stuff and then have quick access to all copied items with one keyboard shortcut. The app is super discreet and looks perfectly in line with Apple's system design. You never get a feeling that this app is not a part of the system, which makes it absolutely perfect for anyone who cares about aesthetics. What I also like is the fuzzy search feature, which allows me to find almost any item I ever copied, even if I type the name wrong. This is truly a great addition and macOS extension that Apple should buy and incorporate into the system. And it's absolutely free, so check it out. Gemini 2 is another great free app that you should install. Gemini lets you quickly clean Clean up your disk by finding all the duplicate files. I use this app regularly and it helps me keep my Mac free of clutter and useless files. When you open the app, just click scan for duplicates and let the app do its thing. When it's done, you get a list of all files that you can manually look through and choose what to delete. Or you can click Smart Cleanup and the app will clean up for you and delete all files that will not cause any damage to the system or app performance. The app works with all types of files so you can be rest assured nothing will avoid the all-seeing eye of Gemini. The app is free, so be sure to install it, especially if you're running out of space. There are many ways to make macOS Sonoma even better, and those were some of them. No matter how hard Apple tries, there will always be features to add, and I'm gonna keep telling you all about them. So be sure to sub to the channel. Thank you for watching, guys, and see you in the next one.